more reason why Rusty can't let him get, can't let him clear him. Rusty looks mighty calm in there, and he's mighty cool. Doesn't seem to be worried. Not fighting that car. You couldn't ask for his car to be any better. How much fun is it, Daryl, to be in one of these two cars right now? Well, right now they're having a great time as long as they mind their manners, but yeah, I'm sure man. Rusty is still thinking about the last time Stewart was down under him like that. Whoa! Whoa. Rusty got loose that time. Maybe all Tony Stewart needs to head off into turn one right I'm here. He's going to clear him. He takes the lead. That opened the door. It's all over now. I think it's, uh, Tony will probably just drive on away now. See, he gets the whole racetrack. He can move over. 38 laps to go. Oh, Maybe Wallace some cars. under him. <laughs> can't get it done. He Maybe some cars want to caution. Tony Stewart does not want to caution. Uh, Arthritis pain? Try aspirin. It relieves the pain of arthritis inflammation. And aspirin, when taken daily, is a pain reliever that can also help save your life. Available coated. Ask your doctor if today's aspirin is right for you. There's a lot to be said for clarity. Clarica. Financial clarity. The closest shave is as easy as one, two, three, mop three. Easy loading, easy rinsing with no clogging, and three blades that shave closer in one easy stroke. Mop three from Gillette. Sometimes, when I'm by myself, I think about things like, why are kids so mean to each other? Why do kids bully other kids just because they're different? And what can we do to change things? Change things. From kids to parents, from caregivers to teachers, bullying is everybody's business. Let's talk about it. Join TSN's Rod Smith on Canada's number one source for sports news and information. Sports Desk, weeknights on TSN. Sunday mornings, join the team of John Wells and company and get all the extra sports news and information from here in Canada and around the world. Insight, analysis, commentary, and compelling features about subjects that matter to dedicated sports fans. Focus on the week that was and the week that will be in the world of sports news and information. Sports Desk Extra with John Wells, Sundays on TSN. 32 laps to go. Seven cautions so far on a full moon Saturday night at Richmond. Tony Stewart leading Rusty Wallace by seven-tenths of a second. Ricky Rudd, Jeff Gordon, Johnny Benson. Larry, if a caution would come out, knowing what we know about Tony Stewart's car taking 15 laps or so to come up to full speed, we get another caution and you're the leader. Do you stop? Well, and right here, Mike, we're in that window where it's tough. 30 to go to about 10 or 12 to go. That is a tough decision. You've got about 16 cars on the lead lap. Jeff Hammond, that, that would be a tough call. But these guys, they've got 70 laps on those tires, and tires are very important here. But as you well know, you have lap traffic to contend with, too. It's going to get down to that nail-bite time. This is, like I say, that's what you get paid the big bucks for to make the decisions. If I'm the crew chief in any of these pits, and I'm on the lead lap, I've got two sets of tires sitting there. I've got one sitting recommended in case it's a real short run. I've got one maybe three or four pounds down, where before I may have been eight or nine pounds down in, in long race trim. You have your tires situated, so if you do come to pit road, you pick a set of tires out so that you can get out for a short run and be prepared for that. And again, if you're leading a race, you're sitting there thinking, boy, I don't want to come at all, and I'm hoping I don't get a caution. And there's no question, Greg Simpadelli with Tony Stewart, those guys definitely would have to put air pressure in their tires because we know it takes a while for their car to hook up, as we've talked about. Larry, you know, when we talked to the Goodyear engineers earlier this week, they said this particular tire takes, you know, three to four laps to get enough heat in it to get grip in it. So that air pressure is going to be real important if they do have a late caution. Now, Tony Stewart is getting into lap traffic, and he's about to come up on lead lap cars, beginning with Jimmy Spencer and then Casey Atwood. Darrell, if the caution comes out, do you want tires or do you want to stay out? I'd stay out. 
uh, I'd, I'd make the guys behind me. I'd stay out, and that would force some of the cars to stay out with me. And some of the other cars at the back maybe would try to come down pit road, and I don't think they'd have time to catch me. Let's see if this uh, traffic works to Wallace's advantage. Fox track showing you the instantaneous interval Tony's between car Stewart is, and Rusty. It's just so good. I mean, he can drive to the bottom. He goes in and kind of diamonds the corner off. And he's got such great forward bite now, accelerating out of the corner that uh, it's hard to it's hard to slow him down. Rusty's the one that'll have more problem, I think. And none of these guys are going to give up real easily. I mean, you know, they're trying to stay on the lead, on the lead lap. Uh, 25 laps to go here. Now, Steve Park's tires are fresher Whoa. than most. About 18 laps fresher than most of the cars that he's battling. He had that steering wheel smoking then when he came up. <laughs> and certainly this late in the run, that's where those 18 fewer laps on those tires could definitely make a difference. Yeah, that was a good move on those guys to come when they did uh, the last time. Sterling Marlin, the highest place Dodge in this race, still in 12th, where he's been much of the evening, battling Jeff Burton. Actually, that's for 11. Marlin yeah, moves just, to 11. He just passed Burton for 11. So Sterling's not having a necessarily a great night, but it's a real consistent run for him. It's going to keep him up in the points. Full sitter Mark Martin right behind those two, now running in 13th. The other lead lap cars are Schrader, Atwood, and Spencer. Spencer in danger of going a lap down to Stewart. Stewart is closing up on the back of Spencer down the back straightaway, and I think he is going to go a lap down. Tony got through that traffic. Stewart got through that traffic so easy. He the actually is just handling great. He actually increased his lead, Darrell. It's, it's a full second now over Rusty Wallace. Jeff? One thing we haven't talked a lot about tonight are the spotters here on the short track. As you can imagine right now, Tony Stewart's spotter is running up and down in that spotting stand, telling all these guys that are coming up on, hey, cut us some slack, we're leading the race, help us here, help us here, just so that he doesn't get slowed down by the lap traffic. Benson, Park, and Jarrett battling for fifth. Steve Park had a run under Johnny Benson, and Jarrett closed right up on the two of them. Well, we got 20 laps to go, and uh, like I said, everybody's battling for all their work right now. You know, these guys have been out there for three hours, and uh, this is not an easy racetrack. Everybody's getting tired. Cars are slipping around a little bit. Yeah, the big difference between this and your local short track Saturday night 20-lap shootout is these fellows have already run 380 laps. And Park, under Benson, may make it work here for fifth place. Well, he drove it in there, and he's going to put the slide job on him. Put it. He just put the big slide right on him. That opened the door for Jarrett as you ride with Dale. Jarrett says, let me see, uh, do I want to try that? Yeah, I'm the point leader. I better not try that. And Darrell, this late in the race, you forget about your rotors glowing. You go and use what oh, you yeah. got about those brakes. Yep. This, Sixth place. This is that time, as I like to say, stop working your mouth and start working your hands because it's all over now. Benson holds off Jarrett for sixth. And that's as a crew chief that's what i tell the drivers that's right because unless we get a caution you got what you got i that's can't it. fix a thing now, now. Don't, don't tell me about your problems i can't do nothing for you i ain't your daddy now go when you get back stewart's lead on wallace is now up to two seconds yeah and rusty has his hands full with jeff gordon should we not get a caution now? Remember, Tony Stewart, he was on pit road at lap 282. That's 118 laps. That's a little borderline. But remember, 10 or to 11 of those laps was running a caution. So he should be safe even in the end fuel, Jeff Hammond. I don't believe fuel's an issue. I really don't. But the guy up front, I know how those guys do their fuel mileage. I don't believe Greg Zippendale would make a mistake like that, not with a car like he had tonight. Gordon and Wallace, this is second place. And Gordon kept wearing and wearing Rusty down and finally found some room on the inside. Yeah, Rusty's car at the end of the 100 laps has uh, been uh, slowed down quite a bit. And we're talking about 
Should have oh. tried to put the slide job on him. No, but you sure don't want to do that either. Boy, he had his hands full. Look Man. at his hands in there fighting that thing. Man, that's a great save. I mean, he had the thing underneath of him trying to make the pass, but it almost bought, it almost bit him, and there goes Dale Jr. by him. No pressure from behind. So Jarrett battling for sixth. Slides back to eighth. That's when you'd like to have a little bit more grip, but uh, the old tires just won't take it. Let's uh, watch on board. Dale Jarrett, has that happened? Woo. That was a great save. It was. A lot of momentum to see Dale Earnhardt Jr. and eight car go by him while he was trying to gather it back up. See, Dale Jarrett's right front road is starting to really glow there. Again, we've got about 12 laps to go. You don't worry about those things now. No, your tires are pretty well gone now, and you're just really driving it down in there and slamming on the brakes and kind of get it woed up and keep it on the track. Now in front of Johnny Benson, Mike Skinner in the lows 31 and Elliot Sadler are battling side by side. And of course, if you're Benson, this is the worst thing you can see right here. I mean, you need to be trying to close up on those lead cars. You're being held up by these uh, lap cars. Yeah, now they're two laps down. You know, they're racing each other two laps down. If they're battling each other. They're on the same lap together, and any position is important. And Dale Jr., here's Dale Jr., though. He's caught right up, and here goes Park. Whoa. Oh, those 18 laps are starting to show. 18 laps less on his tires that Steve Park has. Park tested here in his Bush car, and he was quick in practice in the Winston Cup car. He said, we really found something with the Bush car that works, and uh, we're going to put it under the Cup car, and we think we're going to be real good here tonight, and he's up to fourth place. He's been fast all weekend. There's the serial scoring on Steve Park. I got a feeling that Park's going to be able to catch Rusty, and he might just be able to put that slide job on Rusty he's been putting on these other guys. He's got nine laps left to do it. But he's about three-tenths of a lap quicker than Rusty right now. Well, everybody's really working hard off turn four and off turn two. The cars are really starting to slide around and get loose. The 13th place or 14th place car, Jeff Burton going a lap down to Tony Stewart, who now moves oh, up. Oh, trouble, up. trouble over here in turn four. Stay Laney Laney. in the wall. No, no caution. No oh, caution there, yet. There's got to be a caution. I mean, he's going to stay up against that wall. Caution is, is out. out. Caution is out. Leader out of turn two. Casey Atwood's going to hold on the lead lap here as they come to caution. Jeff Burton may get one back or maybe Schrader. Or maybe both of them. Burton pulls underneath. Here comes Schrader. And they both get back on the lead lap. Seven laps to go as the caution comes out for Dave Blaney. All right, there's seven laps to go. I don't know if they would have enough time to do it, but Darrell, we've seen this a lot of the last couple of years. NASCAR throw a red flag, so they can get this racetrack cleaned up where we can have some green flag racing. At well, I don't think this, you know, I think that car is capable of being moved pretty quickly here. Uh, I can't imagine they'd stop the race at this point. Six laps to go. Tony Stewart trying to hurry the pace car there. Here's what happened to Dave Blaney. See, here goes Blaney driving off there. So Blaney drives away with damage, severe damage to the right front of his car. Caution out, it's gonna be five to go, and the pace car has stopped to the roar of the crowd. The fans love it. We'll see green flag racing at the end of this race. Now, the pace car stopped to let the uh, track truck out to put down a little, to do a little cleanup.